Good morning readers. I, Harish Budhu, warmly welcome you to my channel. Learn as much as possible. From my handwritten articles. This 29th of November 2020 opinion paper. Warm welcome to the President of Seychelles and his family and delegation. We are all proud to have you. Wavel Rankalawan has struggled non-stop for four decades at the sweat. Mr. President. A. A very warm welcome to Mauritius. These few words could well be those of the Mauritian public too. We feel proud to welcome a leader who is himself, who is of his own makings, who believes in himself and his country, who has had the courage and determination to struggle non-stop, for more than four decades, to free his people, whose family, friends and supporters suffered the consequences in silence, together with him, for four plus decades, who is not known, for corrupt, abusive and self-seeking, self-serving, elf-catering, self-absorbed, self-destructive practices, who breathes and lives but for his country, whose only agenda was, is and will be first and foremost the whole Seychelles family and then his own relatives, who doesn't tolerate any parallel government, or state within a state, who has no kitchen cabinet which decides for him or which has hijacked the office of the president or which has usurped the powers of the government, for its own make quick and easy money purposes, whose past tells that he will never allow any of his close relatives to loot taxpayers' money or to divert the loot to other countries, especially friendly ones, who has the rare capacity to forget and forgive and treat even opponents fairly with respect and courtesy, who will never utilize the institutions and religious ceremonies to serve his own political, familial and inner circle purposes and most importantly, Mr. Wavell Ramkalawan has reached the top of the sweat of his own brow and not because he was spoon-fed, groomed, imposed and what not, to protect any looted dynastic empire. We can write a 500-page book on the man we are welcoming today. We have to stop here. All said, warm welcome Mr. President. Your delegation should feel at home. B. Pray forgive for the undiplomatic language to welcome you. That because it emanates from a layman, who has never been to a university for education purposes but who happened to be the Deputy Prime Minister of Mauritius in 1982. See, I was in Seychelles sometime in the second quarter of 1983. Reason? It was an official visit. That was following the new movement Socialist Militant, Party Socialist Militant Government after the resignation of Paul Beringer and his movement Militant Mauritian Group. The then President of Seychelles, Albert René was very very close to Paul Beringer. By the way, the latter was in Seychelles soon after the 1977 coup, which overthrew the then democratically elected James Mancham. The then Libyan dictator, Gaddafi, was operating through Albert René, Didier Ratsiraka and Paul Berenger. René and Ratsiraka were both heavily financing Paul Berenger. I was sent to talk to both René and Ratsiraka. I must say that I had succeeded. Anyway. That is a bit of history which speaks for itself. D. I stayed at Beauvalin Hotel. I am writing from memory only. I met the president twice. Just on passant, some Mauritians, close to Beringer, wanted to intimidate me. I met one Ramkalawan in a private printing process. Albert Rene was in close touch with me up to 1985. That is all a piece of history. Welcome to Mauritius. We are proud of you. Keep reading, keep learning. Like and subscribe for more thrilling articles. Thank you for watching.